Hi, I'm Cecil. Welcome to this Yoga Cecil video. It's going to be a little bit harder today. It's about twists. It's a bit sequence I've been teaching in my classes this past week. People really loved it, so I wanted to share it with all of you. We'll be revisiting some of the same types of movements, but in different planes of movement. So we'll be twisting, getting the spine nice and juicy, squeezing and soaking your abdominal organs, building core strength, and helping to detoxify all your liver, your kidneys, all of that sort of jazz. Be nice to yourself, be kind, take it easy, do as much as you can, and enjoy. Most importantly, enjoy and breathe. See you on the mat. Hi guys, welcome to the mat. So for the sequence today, we're going to start in from a kneeling position. It's called child's pose. Extended child's pose. Bring the big toes to touch, knees apart, and then just walk your hands out as far as you can. Pressing your hands firmly into the floor, arms strong, elbows lifted. And as you push your hands down and forward, feel how it will help to lengthen your spine. You might even be able to pull your butt a little bit further back, getting nice and long. You might rest your forehead on the floor. Just using a breath or two to center and arrive. And then from here, lifting up. And sitting onto your heels, but your hands are going to be like halfway back. So you've got a bit of an angle, but heavy. Leaving your left hand on the floor, right hand onto your shoulder. Keep looking down at your left hand, but inhaling the right elbow up. And exhale, look at your elbow, twist a bit further. Look down. And exhaling down and across. Look down, elbow up. Look up and exhale and twist. Look down, elbow down and across. Looking down, elbow up. Look up and twist. Last time, look down, elbow down, and trying to reach it across with stretching in between the shoulder blades, mo getting a little bit of mobility around the shoulders. Looking down, elbow up, and twist. And then yawn your arm open, stretch it out in front, second side. So right hand in the middle, left hand to your shoulder. Look down, elbow up, look up and twist. Look down, elbow down and across. It's like a variation of threading the needle. And then look down, elbow up, elbow up, or look up and twist. Look down, elbow down. Oh, one more time. Looking down, elbow up. Looking up and twist. Look down, elbow down and across, twist. Last time, look down, elbow up. Look up and twist. And then stretch that arm out. Slide your head down front, stretch, lengthening the spine. And from here, lifting up to all fours. Planting your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips. <coughs> Making sure your hands are nice and firm, and spreading so you've got a broad connection, broad foundation. Ribs lifted, and then floating your right leg out behind you. Nice and strong. Engaging your buttocks. Feeling your leg muscles tone, hug the bone. Then bringing your right knee to your right elbow. Stretch it back. Right knee to your nose. Rounding your back. And then stretch the leg behind you. Right knee to your right tricep out to the side. Squeeze it. And back. Right knee to your nose once more. Tuck your left toes. Press back, three-legged down dog. Now similar. Right elbow, right tricep, high plank. Press back. Coming across, knee to the opposite elbow. And back. Knee to your nose, rounding your back. Lower your left heel. And stretch the right leg out behind you. Finding your balance. 
Lifting your left arm out in front. And then bring your right foot to the floor. From here we're going to do another version of threading the needle. Peel your left arm all the way up. And then sliding it all the way across. Ear to the floor, shoulder to the mat. Two more times. Peel it all the way up. And all the way across. So it's a bit of a balancing challenge as well. Last time, all the way up. And all the way across. Peeling it all the way up. Yawning it forward. Knees to the floor. Second side. So firming your buttocks, floating your left leg out behind you so you feel nice and strong. Left knee, left elbow. Stretch it back. Left knee to your nose, rounding your back a whole lot. And stretch it back. Knee to the outside, this is a hard one. Squeeze it in. And back. Knee to your nose. Tuck the right toes, lift the knee and press back. Three-legged down dog. Right knee to the, or left knee to the left tricep. And back. Left knee to your nose. And back. Across the body to the opposite elbow. And back. And bring the knee to your nose. Lifting it high as you lower your right knee. Stretch your left leg back. It's balancing time. Lifting the opposite arm out in front. Right arm reaches forward. Left leg reaches back. And then bring the foot to the floor. Peeling your right arm all the way up. And then feeding it across. All the way up. Nice and slow and steady. Letting your breath be nice and slow and steady too. All the way up. Again, we're getting movement into the stiffer th part of the spine, the thoracic spine, by moving the shoulders. And then all the way up. Yawn it forward. And hands down, knees down. Tuck your toes regular downward facing dog. You can keep your knees bent if they need to be, if it feels very tight in the back of your legs. And like we did in our extended child's pose, hands push down and forward, helping the butt to pull back, spine long. You might need to feel like you want to keep your down dog a little bit longer, and then bring your feet back. Or if it's too long, then you bring your, step your feet forward. Lift both heels up high. Sink both heels. Lift both heels up high, only sink the right heel. Lift both heels up high, only sink the left heel. Lift both heels up high, sink both heels. Lift both heels up high, roll forward, high plank. Now this is a deconstructed down, uh, upward facing dog transition. So point your toes, we're going to point to plank. Lift your hips a little bit towards the down dog. And then we're changing direction, lowering the knees to the floor, rippling this along the spine, hips pull forward, kneeling upward facing dog, or maybe your legs lift, upward facing dog, pushing the floor away from you, away from your shoulders, tuck your chin, rolling from the top of your head, feel your core switch on, lifting you up and over, rolling over your toes and back to your feet. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Walk, step, or float to the front of your mat, fingers on the floor, eyes forward, half lift. Curling in, forehead to shins, deep forward fold. One more time. Eyes forward, heart forward. Curling in, forehead to shins. Knees soft, legs strong, squeezing from your butt, rolling up along your spine, reaching for the stars. And arms along your side. Tadasana mountain pose. So from our mountain pose, Tadasana at the front of the mat, we move on to the standing twist part of the sequence. So inhaling your hands to your heart, thumbs touch, hands touch, 
And from here, inhale the arms all the way up. Knees soft, legs strong. Travel the hands down the front of your body, curling all the way down, fingers to floor. Eyes forward, heart forward. Plant your hands and step back, high plank. Now you can choose to stay in high plank. You can go straight to your downward facing dog or follow me to this deconstructed up dog transition. Pointing your toes. Lifting your hips slightly. And then rolling from the top of your, the bottom of your spine forward. Hips pull forward. Maybe the knees are on the floor. Buttocks firm. Or maybe the knees lifted. Pushing yourself away from the floor. Tuck your chin. Rolling from the top of your head. Core lifts you up and back. Down dog. And from here, floating your right leg up behind you. Bring your knee to your nose. Stretch up behind you. Bring the knee to your nose. Lift the foot high and step it forward. Firm your butt, lifting up, reaching for the stars. And then lift up, stretch up, bend both knees and twist to the right. Lift up, stretch up, bend and twist. Lift up, stretch up, bend and twist. Keep the back knee bent, twisting upper body and arms back to center. Bring your hands to your heart. Fingertips touch, elbows pull apart. Inhale, the arms open. And exhaling, fingers reach apart, chest lifts. Then inhale, draw the fingers back together. Pushing your elbows apart, fingertips together. Then a big circle forward. Sink the back knee, plant your hands. Step back, down dog. Second side. Left leg floats up. And knee to nose. Left leg floats up. Knee to nose. Step the foot forward. Here goes second side. Firm your butt, rolling up. Then lift up, stretch up. Bend both knees, twist to the left. Lift up, stretch up, bend and twist. Lift up, stretch up, bend and twist. Keep the right hip lifted, not dropping it down. Back knees stay bent. Come back to center. And bring your hands to your heart. Fingertips touch, elbows pull apart. And open your arms as you inhale. And exhale, reaching your fingers in opposite directions. Heart lifts. Inhale, the hands back together. Fingertips touch. Elbows pull apart. Make a big circle forward. Hover the back and you just off the floor. Plant your hands and step back, down dog. And you can stay in down dog. You can lift your heels up high. You can roll forward. You can stay in plank or the deconstructed up dog transition. Pointed plank. Lift your hips slightly, buttocks firm. And then rolling from the bottom of your spine, middle, upper, upward facing dog. Tucking your chin. Rolling from the top of your spine all the way back. Down dog. Lift both heels. Bend your knees. Walk up or float to the front. Eyes forward, heart forward. And curling in. This time it's chair pose. Sink your hips, firm your butt, rolling up and reaching for the stars. Chair pose. Big toes touching, knees might touch. Buttocks firm, shins and spine parallel. And bring your hands to your heart, rolling all the way back down, fingers to floor, forehead to shins. Eyes forward, heart forward. Plant your hands and step back. Again, our transition. You can stay in high plank for a bit, building upper body strength. Move straight to down dog for a bit of a stretch. Or follow me, pointed toes. Lift the hips slightly, feel your core engage. Then rolling along the spine. Up dog. 
and then tuck your chin, rolling back, downward facing dog. Stand and twist, part two. Floating your right leg up behind you. Right knee to right elbow. Stretch back. Right knee to left elbow. Stretch back. Right knee to nose and step the foot forward. Plant your feet from your butt, roll up. Reach for the stars. Bring your hands to your heart. And point your fingers down, stretch your arms. Turning your left palm down, right palm up. Pressing your right palm all the way, left hand pushes down. And then turn your, finger, your palms past each other, fingers past each other. Second side. Slight side bend in the top part of the spine. Turn your hands. Right hand up. Turning your hands. Left hand up. One more time. Gentle side bend. You might hear some creaks and cracks along your spine. Last time. Pressing up. Bring your hands to your heart. Lift up, stretch up. Hands to your heart. Fingers touching, elbows apart. Twisting from your belly button to the right. And exhale, reach your arms apart. Inhaling fingertips together. Fingertips touch, elbows pull apart. Inhale all the way, cross to the left. And as you exhale, reach your elbows or your fingers in opposite directions. And fingers back together. Elbows push apart. Coming back to center. Big circle forward. Back knee hovers. Plant your hands and step back down dog. It's getting harder and harder, I know. You guys are doing a great job. Float your left leg up. Left knee, left elbow. And back. Left knee, right elbow. Without dropping the left hip. And back. Knee to the nose. Step the foot forward from your butt and roll up. And again, hands to the heart. A gentle side bend first. Fingers point down, arms stretch. Right palm pushes down. Left palm pushes up. And as we reach our arms opposite directions, the shoulders move. Turn your palms to face each other. Fingers past each other. Pressing up. Fingers past each other. Pressing up. Don't forget about your butt and your legs. Keep them strong. You're doing well. One more time, each side. Again, the spine more and more mobile, more and more supple. And then bring the hands to your heart. Lift up, stretch up. And then your lunge position. Fingertips touch, elbows apart. Feel it. Hug your shoulder blades onto the back of your ribcage. And from your belly button, inhaling all the way to the left. And reach your arms across to the left. Stretch your arms. Feel it between your shoulder blades. Inhaling, fingertips touch. Elbows push apart. Exhaling. Inhale all the way around. And exhale, reach. Inhale, fingertips touch. Elbows push apart. Coming back to center. Big circle forward. Hover the back knee without falling. Plant your hands and step back, down dog. Now again, you can choose to stay in down dog for a bit of a stretch. You can lift your heels up, roll forward. Hold plank. Or pointing your toes, 
deconstructed up dog transition, lifting the hips slightly from your butt, and then rolling forward, up dog. And then without locking your elbows, elbows slightly soft, arms strong, tuck your chin, rolling up and back, down dog. Staying here for a breath or two. Feel it long in the back body, from the back of your heels to the back of your hips, the back of your back, surprise, surprise, and all the way down to your fingertips. Lift your heels, bend your knees, walk, step, or float to the front. Fingers on the floor, eyes forward, high forward, curling in. Bend your knees, rolling up, chair pose, sink your hips. Bring your hands together, thumbs to your heart. Adding some twists, right elbow, left knee. Without moving your hips, going back to center, hips stay still. Left elbow, right knee. Going back to center. Right elbow, left knee. Going back to center, hips don't move. Second side, left elbow, right knee. Come back to center. And just a tiny tap. One more time. Each side. Come back to center. Last side. You're almost done. Back to center. Then lift up. Stretch up. Soften your knees. Roll down the front of your body. Bum firm. Inhaling. Eyes forward. Heart forward. Plant your hand. Step back. High plank. You know the drill. You can stay here. You can move to up dog, or you can follow me to the pointed transition, pointed plank. Lifting your hips slightly, and then rolling along the spine, buttocks firm. Trying to pull the hips forward, feel your feet pull forward. And tucking your chin, rolling from the top of your head all the way back down dog. Okay, are you ready? Twist seconds, round three. Let's go. I'm about to start with my right leg, but that wouldn't make sense for you guys watching this video, so I need to start with my left leg. Floating the left leg up. Bend the knee, squeeze your heel to your butt, lift your knee up high, and then maybe turning the knee out to the left. Feel it work your outer hips. We're not twisting the shoulders, armpits face the floor. Strong from the right foot to the left hand, and then stretch your leg out. Bring the knee to your nose and step the foot forward. Lifting up. We're in our lunge. Bring your hands to your hips. And let your right hand resist your right hip as you turn the right thigh, heel plant to the floor. Stable, strong hips. Open your arms out, warrior two. It almost feels like a holiday from those lunges, doesn't it? Buttocks firm. Now slide your right hand down your right thigh, lifting your left fingers up, and again reaching your hands in opposite directions, getting that side bend along the top spine, and then adding on the lower spine as you slide a little bit further. Turning your palms to face each other. Imagine you're holding a big imaginary beach ball. Keeping your butt firm, hips still, and then bring the beach ball through center, turning the beach ball, Right arms on top, and then lasso your right arm. You're back at warrior two. Two more times. Reversing your warrior, holding your beach ball, and then bring it through center. Lasso the top arm, warrior two. One more time, reverse your warrior, hold your beach ball. Slowly bring it round, this time leaving your left arm on your thigh, pushing down through your thigh, letting the top arm lasso, and then continue to make some nice big circles with your arms and your shoulders. Can you make these circles start your belly button so it moves all the way along your spine? One more time. And this time you're going to pick up your left arm, turn your back heel, you're back at the lovely lunges. 
Step your back foot in slightly so you can bring the foot flat on the floor. It's a bit of a warrior one position. And bring your hands to your heart. From here, fingertips touch, elbows apart. We've been here before. Turning from your belly all the way to the left. And then reach your arms as far as you can. Turning your right palm up. And reach your left arm up past your ear. And it's like you're threading the needle. Just like we did in the beginning of the sequence. On the floor. Self-supporting. Buttocks firm. Legs strong. Trying to reach your right arm. Twisting towards the right. But the left arm reaches forward. And bring your hands together. Hooking your right elbow around the left knee. Strong standing twist. Revolve side angle pose. Palms push into each other. Elbows apart. And turn your gaze down. Plant your hands and step back to your downward facing dog. That was hard. Well done. Luckily, you've only got two legs, two sides. Take a breather here. Just regrouping, breathing through your nose. If you're breathing through your mouth, have a look at your practice. Are you, are you pushing yourself a little bit too hard? You should always be able to breathe through your nose. It's a really good indicator. Are you ready? Float your right leg up high, firming your butt. Bend your knee, squeeze your heel to your butt. Then lift the knee up even higher and maybe turn your knee to the right. We're turning the knee, not the chest. So the armpits reach down towards the floor. And then stretch your leg out behind you. Square your hips off to the mat. Step the foot forward. So now you're going to see this whole sequence from behind. Reaching up. Lunge. Hands to the hips. This time the left hip is the left hand is resisting the left hip. So you get even more muscle engagement of the outer hip rotators. Plant your left heel. Reach your arms out. Warrior two. Buttocks firm. Left hand to thigh, right fingers up. Getting that nice side bend at the top of the spine as your fingers reach in opposite directions. And sliding the left hand down, keep reaching your right fingers up. And turning your hands, holding your imaginary beach ball. And then turning your beach ball through center. Lasso the top arm. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. We've got two more rounds. Hold your beach ball. Bring it through center. Hips are still. Firm your butt. Feet strong. Bring it, the ball forward and then lasso the top arm. Warrior two. Last time. Reversing your warrior. Holding your beach ball. Bringing it through center. This time the right arm stays on the forearm. Press yourself away from your leg. Lasso the top arm. And then some nice big circles. We're not collapsing into the shoulder. Into the bottom shoulder. Keep pushing yourself away. The arm spiraling, coming from the belly button, traveling along the spine. And on this last time, picking up your right arm, turning your left heel. Lovely lunge. Step the back foot in slightly. Hands to your heart. So you've got your warrior one stance, hip square to the front. And then from here, fingertips touch, elbows apart. Twisting from your belly on the inhalation towards your right. And as you exhale, reach your arms, twisting a bit further. The left palm turns up, getting ready to thread your needle. The top arm comes up and over. We've got a twist, a twist, a twist, a twist, a side bend, and it even adds a little bit of challenge to the balance. This is strong. You guys are doing a great job. Side arm reaching across, top arm reaching forward. Buttocks firm, legs strong, foundation stable. And then bring your hands to your heart, palms together. A bit more of a traditional lunge with a twist. And then turn your gaze towards the floor. Bring your hands to the mat. 
Step back, hello, down dog. Hallelujah, you feel so good. Now you can stay here. You can come forward to your high plank. And if you've got a little bit more juice, follow me, point your toes. Lift your hips slightly. And then rolling forward, squeezing your bum, supporting your lower back, upward facing dog. Tuck your chin, rounding from the top of your spine all the way back, downward facing dog. Staying here for three breaths. Just noticing how you feel along your spine, how you feel along your hips, your lower back, middle back, upper back, your shoulders, the back of your legs. Okay, so after all these twists, we're going to do something really nice. We're going to let it all open out. So float your left leg up behind you. Then bring the knee to your nose. Step the foot forward. Lifting up, lunge. Hands to your hips. Turn your back thigh. Plant your heel. Open out, warrior two. And then bring your right hand to the hip. Step your back foot in slightly. Front knee still bent. Your hips nice and open, firming your butt. Bring your left hand to the floor. Stay up on your fingertips. Bent left leg nice and strong. Maybe lift your right heel, come onto the right tiptoe. Maybe, maybe float your right leg up behind you. Maybe, maybe extend the top arm. Feel yourself reaching from heaven to earth, from earth to heaven, forward and backward, up and down, side to side. And then bring your hand to the floor. Square your hips. And step the back foot forward, forehead to shins. Eyes forward, heart forward. Plant your hands and step back, down dog. And the last of the standing stuff, you're almost on the floor, floating your right leg up behind you. Step the foot forward. Firm your butt. Lift up to your lunge. Hands to your hips. Using this alignment to help stabilize your hips. Resisting the pelvis as you plant your heel by turning your thigh. Arms open out, warrior two. Back hand to hip. Step the back foot in slightly. Bring the right fingers to the floor. And then maybe lifting the back heel so you're on your tippy toes. And maybe with your inhalation, draw the leg up. Buoyancy of the breath. Maybe extending your hand. If your balance feels a little bit wobbly, you can keep your hand on your hip. Again, we're reaching in all directions. How is your breath? How awesome do you feel right now? Completely open, powerful, able to do whatever you want. Half moon pose. And then bring your hand to the floor, back foot to the mat, forehead to shins. Eyes forward, heart forward, curling it in. Eyes forward, heart forward, curling it in. Eyes forward, heart forward. Plant your hands. Last downward facing dog. And again, you can stay here. And then it truly will be your last down dog. You can come to your high plank. And you'll still have another down dog. Or you can follow me. Point your toes. Lift your hips. Sort of down dog. We still have the up dog. Bring your hips forward. Pull your hips forward. Strong butt, strong arms, push the floor away from you. Tuck your chin, roll from the top of your spine. Feel how that rolling switches on your core, lifts your hips up, light. Roll over your toes, down dog. Take a breath or two. And then bend your knees, lift your heels. Walk, step, or float. Just halfway. Bring your fingers back, eyes forward, heart forward. And then come all the way down to seated. 
Hello, floor. Now you can just stay along your mat. I'm going to turn myself so you can see me. So the floor twists start with probably my least favorite pose of all, Navasana. Boat pose. So hold on to your knees, sitting onto the tips of your sit bones. You can keep your big toes on the floor. Definitely makes it a lot easier. You can hold on to the backs of your knees, lean back, take your, finger, your feet off the floor. And just keeping the, the shins parallel to the floor. Bring your hands to your heart. Elbows lifted high, palms pressed together. And twisting from your belly button to the right. Back to center. Belly button to the left. Back to center. To the right. Back to center. To the left. Back to center. The things you don't like to do, you sometimes have to do twice as much. One more time. And reach your arms as far as you can. Bring the fingertips to touch. Come back through center. All the way around. Stretch your arms. Bring your fingertips to touch. Hands to your heart. And lower your feet down. Ha ha! We did it. Just rest your arms along your knees or your legs, your forehead on your knees. Take a moment. And then sitting up nice and tall. Stretch your legs out to the side. Dig the back of your heels into the floor. Have your knees bent. And then inhaling your arms all the way up. And reach forward. Turn your palms to face the sky, little fingers even more so, lifting your little fingers. Maybe keep your hands a little bit wide and shoulder distance so you're not closing off your heart. So it's a self-supported, wide-legged forward fold. Feel the back of your legs strong, but still getting stretched. It's a nice, safe way of stretching the back of our legs. Eccentric muscle stretching. They're lengthening, but strengthening at the same time. And bring your fingers to the floor. Gently press yourself up. Hold the back of your knees. Help your legs back together. Crossing your legs. Inhaling your hands all the way up. And bring your hands to your heart. Twisting from your belly button to the right. One of my favorites called Sweeping Dragon. Exhaling, reach your fingers as far forward as you can. Bring them around to the left. Come back through center. One more time, inhaling through center. Exhale, reaching your fingers forward, your hips pull back. Sometimes I feel like I'm casting a spell. And then come back to center. Lifting all the way up. And bring your hands down. Moving to the other side, so from your belly to the left. And then exhaling, reach your fingers forward, your hips pull back. Hands hovering just off the floor. Inhaling back through center. And exhale all the way around. Come back to center. Inhaling the hands all the way up. And then bring the hands down. Stretch your legs out in front. And then bending your right leg. Without the help of your hands, of course. Step the right foot across. Now, if you feel that you're lifting off to one side, really, really important when you do these positions where your leg is crossed over, that you've got even weight into both sides of your hips. Otherwise, you're going to start destabilizing your hips, and we've been using all that hip stabilizing during our twist to keep the pelvis stable so you don't want to undo it now. So if you need to sit yourself up on a block or a cushion, then without the help of your hands, hug your knee in. That might, you might notice that helps to bring your right foot flat onto the floor. Sitting up nice and tall, inhaling all the way up. Bring your hands towards your heart, twisting from your belly button towards the right. And then maybe hugging your right knee in. Maybe bring the right fingers to the floor. Or if you'd like to support yourself with your internal strength, then wrapping your right arm behind you. As long as you're not falling backwards, if you feel like you're falling backwards and slumping, keep the fingertips on the floor. 
looking past your right shoulder, reaching up through the crown of your head. And then bring your gaze back to center, releasing your twist. Hands to your heart, step the foot across, and then knee out to the side. Inhale the hands all the way up, and bring the hands to your heart. And again, inhaling all the way up, and bring the hands together, but this time to your right knee. Another version of sort of threading the needle, peeling your right arm all the way up, and exhale, lean forward, reaching for your toes, looking past your armpit. So we're in a twist. It's the same thing we did in our standing position. And then turn your belly to the floor, reaching forward. And then drawing the hand along the floor, back towards your belly button. Lifting up. Fingers to the stars, and then bring your hands down the middle. Left leg. So bring the right leg out in front. Bend your left knee in. Step it across, always without the help of your hands, so your leg muscles get trained. Inhaling, hands all the way up. As you hug your knee in, the left foot plants to the floor. Then bring your hands to your heart, twisting from your belly button to the left. Then maybe hugging your elbow around the knee. Maybe keep your fingertips on the floor so you can support yourself and lift up nice and tall. Or if you feel like you still got a little bit of juice inside, wrapping the hand behind you, supporting yourself as you sit up nice and tall in a twist. And in our twist, especially prevalent when we're sitting down, our shoulders are moving in one direction. So in this, left, uh, left shoulder is moving back. So you want to press your left hip forward. Shoulders and hips moving in opposite directions in our twist. So it becomes a spinal twist and not a hip twist. And then bring your gaze back to center. Releasing your arms. Step the foot across, inhale the arms up. The knee out to the side, hands down. And again, inhale the arms all the way up. And bring the hands down, this time to your left knee. Inhaling, peel the left arm all the way up. And as you exhale, lean forward, reaching for your toes. Gaze to the side. And then inhale, looking down, palm turns flat. And draw the arm, the hand, all the way back along the floor. Inhaling all the way up, lifting the knee. And bring the leg out in front. And from here, bending your knees. Bring the soles of your feet together. Again, if you feel like your knees are up really, really high, you might like to support them with a block or a cushion. Bring your hands onto your ankles or onto your feet, clasping your hands around your toes, tuck your chin, and rolling down toward your feet. And then use your hands to push you back up. Now slide your feet a little bit further away from you, again letting your hands rest. Tuck your chin, rolling the head down toward your feet, and sliding up, using your hands to push up. And then again, bring your feet a little bit further forward. You'll notice as you bring your feet further forward, the position of the stretching into your legs and your hips changes. Tuck your chin, rolling down. Use your hand, gently press you back up. And then keep the feet together, slide them out long, a really long diamond shape between your legs, tuck your chin. Rolling all the way down. Use your hands to press you all the way up. Walking yourself up. Help your knees together. Holding on to the sides of your feet. And forehead to your knees. From here, you can walk your feet out a little, but keep your forehead on your knees. So we're trying to get a full back body stretch, not just the hamstrings. They get a lot of prioritization, but there's a whole back line of the body. 
And then from here, inhaling your eyes forward, your heart forward, look forward. And curling in. Forehead to shins, or forehead to knees. Eyes forward, heart forward. And forehead to knees. Again, eyes forward, heart forward. You might notice any sensations of release along your back as you do this little movement, this little transition, vinyasa of the head and neck. Two more times. Eyes forward, heart forward. You might have a little bit more length. And curling in. The last time, eyes forward, heart forward. And forehead to knees. And this time staying here for three breaths. The back line of the body starts at the soles of the feet. And it finishes at your forehead. So we want this nice release along the entire back line of the body, not just the hamstrings, from the soles of your feet. The back of your shins, the back of your thighs, the back of your butt, back of your hips, your lower back, your middle back, your upper back back of your neck, the back of your skull, the top of your skull, all the way to your forehead. And releasing your fingers to the floor. After the nice releases of the back body, we don't want to be engaging the muscles too much straight away. So use your hands to walk you back up. Hi, welcome back. And we're going to lie down. You have deserved Shavasana so much. Just lying down onto your back and then just letting your legs flop out, feet to the side, arms along your side. Letting your fingers curl naturally and softly. Letting the skin on your forehead soften. Your nostrils, your eyelids, your cheeks, Softening your lips, your jaw, your teeth, your tongue, the roof of your mouth. Letting your throat soften, the back of your neck, your shoulders. Letting your arms feel heavy, your chest heavy. Your diaphragm softens, your belly softens, your breath softens. Your hips feel heavy, your lower back feels light. Your buttocks muscles melting. Your legs feel heavy, the thighs weighing down towards the floor. Your shins heavy. The lightness in the webbing of your toes. Your toes feel heavy. The soles of your feet soft, the back of your heels resting heavily on the floor. Let it all go. Welcome home. Gently breathe in the life back into your fingers and toes. Bending your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Remind yourself of how awesome you are. Bring your forehead to your knees. Give yourself a cuddle. Give yourself a lot of love. And lowering your head and shoulders, rolling onto your right side. Let your head rest on your arm like a pillow. And if you can, keeping your eyes closed, use your hands to press you up from the side. Finding a comfortable seated position once more. And the hands rest down on the knees. Taking a moment where everything settles. 
like glitter in a snow globe. And bring your hands to your heart. Resting your thumbs against your heart, thanking yourself for your awesome effort for practicing yoga. Give yourself some quality time with yourself. Gently opening your eyes. Thank you for joining. Namaste.